Up. Up. Okay, let's try again. Wait, wait. Okay, so we're gonna remove the GoPro now because it's in the way, it's too much weight going sideways. That's a bit too far. Hey, Anna, should we go backwards? Maybe it's gonna go better. The speed breaker seems to be more stable in reverse, so we're gonna try driving it in reverse. kilometers an hour exactly 60 60 yes. bravo right. what sixty kilometers an hour so we definitely did it and I think this is it this is the final speed breaker I don't think anything more is worth trying so yeah if yeah. somebody does uh, 61 then you know what's next yeah <laughs> i think this is it 62 at <laughs> least today we recorded the speed breaker and we learned two things first thing is that you can make a buoys powered lego model that can reach 60 kilometers an hour and if you think you can do better we challenge you so you know who i'm talking about but from our side, I think we are currently done with breaking the speed records. I don't think this record will be easy to break. And yeah, but let's see. Let's see if anyone else can do it. Second thing we learned is that the speed breaker drives much better in reverse than in forward. Basically, when I was driving it forward, it kept going sideways, no matter how much I tried correcting. And we only reached 37 kilometers an hour going forwards. But then when I was backing the, uh, the model for uh, another round, I noticed that it was going very stable in reverse. So we just decided, let's draw it in reverse, let's see what happens. 
and what happened is that we broke the speed record and in the end we also broke the model that's why I don't have it here with me so all in all I think today was a very successful day even though we broke the speed breaker we broke it in a way that ended up breaking a speed record now that's a lot of breaking and if you guys like to see stuff break then please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe thank you for watching and have a good one